friends. I'm, I'm a bit late, but um, I have to get my face on, else um, I wouldn't be very presentable to the camera. But that's okay. We've only been waiting, what, three hours now? I, yes, I, I'm sorry about that. So, um, you want to talk to me about my father, but until you moved on? Or? Yes, um, as you can see, we have a, a family tree, and from Annie Mc... Uh, Morag McKinnon, sorry. We have let alone gone down and we have found you, Joan, um, Joan McKinnon. So, just, we just want to know a bit about Ramsey, who happens to be a very famous, um, Prime Minister. Y yes, he, he was, he was in fact elected twice, I'll have you know, and, um, I have this book, um, <laughs> here by David McCund, and, um, in fact it's about my father. And, um, I even have some pictures, pictures of me in here. Because I am actually his daughter, I'll have you know. And, um, I'm his daughter. And I'm, in fact, um, the line from the throne. And, uh, I mean, the throne. Here they am talking like I'm the daughter of the queen. No, in fact, I'm only the daughter of the president or prime minister. Yes, you could say that you're a living legacy. Yes, uh, that's what I meant, yes. Well, here are my, my uh, lovely Here's siblings who, um... There were six of us. Oh, you're very cute. That's not me, my dear. That's Ishbel. Oh, Ishbel, very nice. Yes, that's Ishbel. And my dad's lovely furry moustache. Right. This is actually a. Uh, I'll find my picture. This one's me, the very cutie in the middle. Oh, very beautiful. Yes, I was a bit of a looker back in the day, but I'll I'll have you know I can still pull a few of the men down at a bingo. <laughs> I have a laugh there. Okay. Now let's move on. So do you have? Do you have any other questions for me, really? D does your father have any interests? I mean, hobbies? Oh, he he loved the ballet. He just enjoyed it. He took me so, like, every month, I, I think. And when we lived in Scotland, we, we used to go to the, the local village hall and watch the local ballet productions and even an opera, if I was lucky. But um, my father came from didn't come from a wealthy background like these Gordon Browns. They, he was, in fact, from... He, he was an illegit illegitimate son of Mary Ramsney, who was in fact a ser servant, and his mo father a ploughman, and he was actually um, a bastard. And he was, so it's not very nice to think like that, really. You could say that he stopped some sort of sterilism towards that sort of um, look on bastards, as it were. Uh, yes, it's a great... Quite controversial. It's a great achievement to become Prime Minister, really, isn't it? And uh, if you really think about it, he was, <coughs> he was a teacher at his own school. <coughs> at his own, his own primary school. And oh, I'm, that's very good. I'm really proud to be his daughter, really. Yes, and also, it's not too hard for you to art now. I, I, I must read you an extract from the book. Oh, okay, okay. But I do have questions. Yeah, uh, yes, I, I, I understand. So let me just find this. Oh, so this is the opening line of his autobiography. No, uh, no by David McCann. Biography. Le Lansy MacDonald died a lonely and disappointed old man, worn out in body and mind. That's the that's the opening sentence yeah. of the book. Yes, and I, like I was saying, if it's not too hard, um, can I ask how he passed away? But he, he's dead. Oh, yes, the poor chap died in 1973. <laughs> Personally, forget to sleep, I'd like that. Yes, in, in fact, oh, I mean 1937, sorry. Anyway, <laughs> um, he, he was, he, he, he had an awful disease. We, 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 as the doctors weren't very good back in the day, well, we didn't really know what was wrong with him. But um, he set out on his way on a ship to America, and um, in an attempt to restore his health, which he had a serious throat problem, always coughing up phlegm and all this. And but he actually he actually died on the boat journey, and uh, on the night of November 1937. And it was it was just tragic, really. I'm sorry to hear that. Yes, really. And um, do you, do you want to talk about Downing Street? Um, well, actually, we do have a question. We found a yeah. picture. We found it in your dish oh, I have a dishwasher, and we'd like to know who this is. Oh, that's Grandma Annie. She lives in the Highlands of Scotland, like me. I lived in the oh, Highlands so of Scotland. so this is her great-grandmother. Great no, she's actually my grandmother. So great-great-grandmother. Uh, and it's Annie's great-great-great-grandmother. Oh, that is... Oh, we can add her to the family tree. Yes, but actually, she lived in the Highlands.
islands of Scotland from where I'm from. And the, the geese are running wild with the goats. And the river's oh. winding around. I'm sure they yes. are. Now, come to talk about the highlands of Scotland. Yes. I, have, I, I have to stop you there. So, um... Do you know about Ernest today? I, I have a picture right here. Um, actually, Newton Downing Street for a little, a little while. That's why I didn't really know Grandma Annie that well. Do you want to zoom in on this picture, my dear? This is this one. That's me. Yes. Oh, that's a very lovely picture there. Yes, it is, isn't it? Yes. Uh, um, I'd just like to say that you have really informed us, and we have filled in most of our tree now. So yes, we have to be going. So thank you oh, for helping. That us. is good because I've got bingo first thing tomorrow morning. And thank you for I'm very, us. I'm very tired. You see, I better go to bed yeah. right away. You've I been think. very helpful. I think thank you'll. You. Bye. 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 Thank you for watching. And well, being so interested coming. in my father, he would be very. Well, proud. thank you for coming. Well, Annie. Well, Annie Morag. Um, to conclude this show, we have managed to find out about your very interesting... Bye! Oh, okay. bye, Grandma! Oh, she is a bit of a... nutter. Yes! <laughs> Put it lightly. Anyways, can I... <laughs> what was that? Well, yes, um... <laughs> to... <laughs> to conclude this show, we have found out a little about your... Scotland heritage. I mean, when we started, you didn't even know that your grandfather was this famous prime minister. And now that we know this, and we know about where you came from, and this is what the show is all about. And now I hope you have a clearer understanding oh, crap. <laughs> of your heritage. I stood on a piece of army. I'm sorry. <laughs>